Hello there, today I have Mini Lego Transformers Animated Sentinel Prime. And I'm uh, pretty proud of this build, but uh, it has a few flaws, like um, the gap through here. Uh, the gap through here. Uh, this head's just sticking out of the front. Uh, there's studs here. Uh, poking out the bottom, which means the rear wheels can't really ever touch the ground. Uh, but some uh, pluses about this vehicle mode is that it actually has uh, the, the, the back of the truck bed, so it can actually hold stuff. If it has studs, it can actually like tab in. And his weapons, this is his lance, it's supposed to be blue, but these pieces don't come in blue. Unless I just don't have them. And this is his shield. Those are just in the, the, the weapon uh, storage, weapon storage places. And there's not a lot of orange, but it's, I guess it's represented by this like nougat piece, this uh, yellow piece, and this gold piece. Or gold and nougat and uh, yellow sections around the truck. Because none of these pieces really come in orange, and I don't have a lot of useful orange pieces. Uh, these pieces could also be replaced with just two studs stacked on top of each other to keep this, uh, to keep the rear wheels actually on the ground. So honestly, you could do that. Uh, so we're just gonna imagine that, uh, those are actually touching the ground, but, you know, if you can't do that, then, you know, just move the truck bed down. Uh, the proportions are also pretty weird. Uh, you got the tiny little wheels in the, the front. And then, like the like um, by the back, uh, in order to have it actually function as a back, uh, the sides have to be a little bit wider than the rest of the vehicle, so it just ends up looking weird. And the vehicle just looks pretty long. But honestly, if you don't really compare it next to the other um, uh, the other figures, I guess you wouldn't even really notice that it's pretty long. And this thing's even longer than uh, Ratchet's vehicle mode, so. Yeah, this is a record. Is it a record or is Bulkhead the longest vehicle? How about we find out with size comparisons? This vehicle mode is eight and a half studs long and about four studs wide. Here's Sentinel next to the Autobots and as you can see, this is a pretty weird scale. Um, somehow a pickup truck is longer than an actual full-size truck, but that's just because of how uh, Optimus Prime's vehicle mode is uh, very badly underscaled. It should be much larger, but uh, due to how his robot mode uh, has to be height-wise, it has to be that short and small. And, uh, yeah, basically Bulkhead and Sentinel Prime are about the same length, but overall Bulkhead is bigger. Here is uh, Sentinel Prime next to the Decepticons, and sadly Lugna has died. And here are the rest of the comparisons, and he is actually just as long as uh, Ironhide's uh, vehicle mode. This is crazy. Transformation, uh, this is a pretty unique one. Uh, let's just uh, split the front section out to the side, and it's already breaking. Uh, they're not in the proper orientation, but they're there. And, yeah, that piece is going to like to fall off. Yep, fold this bottom section. Oh, wow, okay. It actually hasn't broken this much before, but, like, this is a lot. Uh, yeah, basically just fold the bottom sections down. And once you've done that, you are going to slide it out to the sides. And you know these are the arms, but you're not going to actually uh, position them in the right orientation yet. Because you still have to transfer the legs. Which is, yes, the rest of this vehicle. Well, most of the rest of the vehicle anyway. Uh, detach on one side, because this piece is one solid piece that connects them both. And you're going to... Yeah, this is a pretty weird. How am I going to show this? Swivel one side out like that, and the other side. And 
then you should have something like this and then swivel these parts down and he's starting to get pretty large but this is not actually the final product obviously uh, he actually shrinks down quite a lot and then keep uh, these uh, windshields used to be up here just keep rotating until they're all the way down until like these uh these side panels collide and then here's the part where you need uh, the arms to be up wow this breaks way more i guess these parts got pretty loose but like they didn't they didn't break this much when i was testing the transformation but hopefully this is clear but You're gonna swivel this entire section forward. Like so. And same thing on the other side. I'm just gonna and put this down, do the same thing on the other side, because once again this is a solid piece, you need those two to connect. And this is actually the section where you connect it. But before you do that actually, swivel his foot out. Yeah, this breaks a lot more than usual. And, you know, same thing on the other side. And then just collapse that down, connect the crotch. Uh, split his legs. And then properly position the arms. Yeah, I'm just gonna, uh, let's just ignore all that breakage in, uh, the transformation, but finally, here we are in Sentinel's robot mode, and I think I did a pretty decent job. I got most of the correct details in the right places, uh, like the wheels that are almost on his shoulders, the little, uh, snow picker upper thingies, whatever they're supposed to be, they're on his, uh, shoulders, the actual chest is, um, well, the actual grill on the vehicle is actually on his chest, unlike the deluxe class figure. Uh, yeah, and I think this is accurate to the show as well, where, like, the windshields end up. But, yeah, this, uh, this giant uh, panel sticks out of the back, but, yeah, I still think I did a pretty good job. Uh, it might not look like an animated design. Like, I think when you're told it's Sentinel Prime, you're like, oh, you'll, you'll look at it and be like, yeah, I can see that as Sentinel Prime, but, like, not all, like, the major details are, like, there. Well, I guess you could say his little shoulder pieces, but, like, he just doesn't give off the vibes of animated Sentinel, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave this as it is. For articulation, his arms are a ball joint, and this is why, um, Lugnut is dead. Uh, oh wait, I, ne I never even actually noticed this. He has an ab crunch. Wow. So yeah, he has an ab crunch. Uh, that's kind of weird. I'm just surprised I never even noticed that. And that's kind of actually cool, but yeah. He has an ab crunch. And, uh, you know, as shown in the transformation, he can split his legs kick forward that far, back that far, uh, they swivel right here as shown right now, and his feet swivel too, obviously as shown in transformation, yeah, uh, honestly I don't know why you'd want to get him an ab crunch pose, you know he can do it, he can do it though, yeah and he can actually stand himself up too, wow. Okay, but uh, the ab crunch isn't really useful because he's pretty limited in articulation. But let's keep moving on. I'm running out of time. Let's do some accessory stuff. Pop his head off. And do this. And now uh, he's the headmaster, Sentinel Prime. Yeah, this looks pretty goofy. Uh, then we got these uh, weapons. 
Yep, weapons. But due to the way how he has to transform and the way his arm is built and blah blah blah, he cannot hold it properly, so he has to hold it like that. And this is this is the one arm that has a stud on it for the shield. But you know, if you don't like how the lance looks, is it called a lance? I'm just gonna call it a sword. You can do that, but then his shield has nowhere to go. Do what you choose, and uh, size comparisons. Here's Sentinel with the Decepticons. Here he is with the Autobots. And here is the uh, other stuff. And Sentinel Prime is seven and a half studs tall.